Hello everyone. Today I'd like to do a study and stream on reading comprehension. I'm going to use Khan Academy and uh, think aloud while solving some tasks there. So without further introduction, let's just get there. The last time I was on Khan Academy, it was August 23, almost a week ago. Yeah, more than a week, actually. Can't be there for, for a lot of time. So now I'm working on LSAT course, and uh, these are the steps I have already ta have, have taken. Now, uh, this is analytic reasoning, one of the hardest uh, tasks, which, uh, which is on this course, like uh, analytic reasoning. And uh, so I'm going to work on this uh, right now. So there are five questions. I have to answer three of them correctly, and it takes eight, min eight minutes. So I approximately eight minutes. For me, it's, uh, yeah, I hope I'll be able to solve, uh, to answer these questions in 20 minutes, since uh, for me, analytical reasoning is uh, kind of, you know, it's very hard. It's very hard. I still very slow at it, but I want to solve it uh, correctly. So my goal is not to be on time. My goal is to make no mistakes. So let's let's start. Uh, the questions in this exercise are based on the set of conditions described below. You may find it useful to draw a rough diagram. All right, the train makes five trips around a loop through five stations. P, Q, R, S, and T. Uh, in that order, stopping at exactly three of the stations on each trip. The train must conform to the following conditions. The train stops at any given station on exactly, th on exactly three tri trips, but not on three consecutive trips. The train stops at any given station at least once in any two consecutive trips. Okay, I'm not sure that I understand exact consecutive. It's like uh, the following. What does it mean? Let's check it out. Consecutive. There's so many new vocabulary. Consecutive numbers of periods of time follow one after the other without any interruptions. Okay, consecutive. Once again, the train must, like, this is the only order, P, Q, R, S, and T, stopping at exactly three of the stations on each, each trip. Okay, so it may stop only on three, three stations, which kind of stations we have to find out. So there's conditions. The train stops at any given station on exactly three trips. So five trips, right? So it has five trips, any given station, exactly three, three, but not on three consecutive trips. The train stops at any given station at least once in any two consecutive trips. Okay, it's like, <laughs> let's try to draw a diagram. So five trips around the loop through five stations. Okay, what, what do we have? We have P, Q, R, S, T, right? Yeah, this is, this is one set. And uh, we have to discover which one of them we have to choose at any, at any trip. So stopping at exactly three of the stations on each trip. So every, every time the train stops at three of them. 
uh, the train must confirm the following conditions. Well, it makes five trips, but there are three plus three. <laughs> I can't figure it out. Yeah, let's just, okay. I see now it's hard for me. I can't actually make up make up my mind. Uh, like how, I, I can't even imagine how to draw a diagram here. Like in other questions, when we have, uh, let's say five, uh, five, five or six or eight uh, characters and they have to make a certain sequence it's easier to draw a diagram but here i can't even figure out like three okay let's <laughs> let's let's be a little bit more stubborn and try to do something okay there's five five uh, stations so it's like one two three four five the train stops only on three of them. Exactly. Uh, at exactly three of the of the stations on each trip. Trip. The train must confirm the point. Stops at any given station. And exactly three trips. Okay, during three trips, during three trips, it stops on all of them, but not on three consecutive trips. Oh, okay, now I see it. Yeah, now I see it much better. So it has like it has five trips, right? Five trips. And uh, it stops on all these stations during the three trips, but not consecutive trips. Yeah, now, 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 now I got it, <laughs> but I still can't figure out how to draw a diagram. It's like the first, well, I, again, I got the first condition. So it stops, okay, train, let's take train, uh, stops on all of them train uh, stops on all of them like all train stops at all of them in three trips but not on three trips but not on the three consecutive trips like stops all three but not but not uh, three consecutive okay how does it sound consecutive 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 okay consecutive the train stops at any given station at least once in any two consecutive trips the train stops at any given station like at, again at all of them at least once in any two consecutive trips. At least once in any two consecutive trips. And here it says the train stops at any given station on exactly three trips. And exactly three doesn't is there no contradiction stop <laughs> the train stops at any given station on exactly three trips but not on three consecutive trips and uh, it stops at any given station at least once in any two consecutive trips so let's say it uh the first trip it stops on p q and r 
right? And the second trip, it stops on, let's say, Q, R, or S, uh, Q, S, and T. So they are consecutive trips. And it stops on any of them. But uh, but it can't uh, stop at any given station <laughs> on exactly three trips if they are consecutive. Oh, it just blows up my mind. Okay, let's try to like let's try to uh, <laughs> let's try to find out the solution for the first question like without i actually want to now i have a strong motivation to check out the explanation but i resist it i want to see if i am able to figure out like i'm still i, I don't understand how these two uh, may be accomplished at once like these two conditions it seems that uh, like maybe i just i don't understand the language here like once again the train stops at any given station what does it mean on, on exactly three trips like three out of five this is as far as i can tell so but not on three consecutive trips so three out of five but not uh, like they shouldn't be a consec consecutive but again it says that it stops at any given station which again the same the same sentence as here uh, at least once in any two consecutive trips can't figure that out but anyway so which one of the following could be the list of stations at which the train stops on the first two trips first trip pqs second trip pqr okay uh, which one of the following could be the list of stations at which the train stops on the first two trips so the first trip Okay, I'm going to read the, the explanation since now I am. Uh, we're going. To, now I'm not able to figure out how to draw a diagram. It's like I didn't solve uh, tasks like this. So this is the first time I solved, uh, solved uh, similar tasks, but uh, this one I, I still. <laughs> It's very hard. Okay, what the setup tells us. This setup has to do with a train five trips of three stations per trip. Okay, the train drives through five stations, but does not stop at each one. It makes 15 stops total. Oh, okay, yeah, 15, yeah, 15 stops, five, 15 stops. Uh, this is an a typical setup that involves allocating the stations to trips. Here's one way you might represent this in a diagram. Oh, okay, that's cool. Let's just write it down. P, Q, R, T. One, two, three, four, five. And we have three, one, two, 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 three. Okay, that makes sense. What's rules? Yeah, I uh, I still don't understand the rules. What do the rules tell us? Okay, the train stops at each station exactly three times, but not on three consecutive trips. The train stops at any station at least once on any two consecutive trips. Rule one, each station three times not three consecutive trips rule two each station at least once per two consecutive trips since uh, these uh, aren't typical rules we just want to know the rules in a way that makes sense to us what can we deduce 
there are six stops in the two first trips. So rule two means that in the first two trips, the train stops at four of the stations exactly once. And uh, one of the stations exactly twice. Uh, what? <laughs> so there are six stops in the first two trips. Okay. Rule two means that in the first two trips, the train stops at four of the stations exactly once. And one of the stations exactly twice. Can't figure that out. Why, why is this the case? <laughs> Each station at least once per two consecutive trips. But why it's in the first two trips, the train stops at four of the stations exactly once. <laughs> can't grasp it <laughs> still there are six stops in the first two trips okay, this one trip second trip yeah makes sense the train stops at four of the stations four of these exactly once in the first two trips, okay. Exactly once, and one of the stations exactly twice. Well, yeah, it goes through. There's six. Wait. So the rule to means that in the first two trips. Yeah, it stops six times, okay? The train, it stops six times. The train stops at four of the stations exactly once. And one of the stations exactly twice. Oh, okay. Okay, so it doesn't stop on one station. Why? Why? Rule to each station at least once per two consecutive trips each station at least once oh, okay stations damn it so there are four stations and six uh, six six what is it uh trips right wait <laughs> i have to imagine it okay there's the train there's five stations so it stops It stops uh, at each station. There are two consecutive trips, at least once. One of these five. Yeah, but there's just five. Okay, okay. So there's five. This means that in two in two in two consecutive trips, it has to stop on five, and uh, one on, on one he's, he 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 is going to stop two times. Okay, I got it finally. <laughs> That's at least <laughs> at least now it makes sense. Uh, there is 
exactly one and one of the stations exactly twice. Okay, so there isn't much more that we can deduce, unfortunately. That means that we will have a lot of work to do in the questions and that it'll be crucial to understand the rules that we were given. Here is our initial diagram. Yeah, exactly what I do. So each station three times, not three consecutive trips. Each station at least once per two consecutive trips. Yeah, finally, I figured out the second rule. So the point is that it goes uh, like in two consecutive trips, no much like one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five. It has to stop uh, two times on one on one on one station on one station yeah each station three times not three consecutive trips yeah and uh, this first rule can start at any given station on exactly three trips but not on three consecutive trips Each station three times, not three consecutive trips. Oh, okay. And exactly three trips. So I, I couldn't understand the, <laughs> the meaning of the sentence. Now I see it. So each station three times, not three consecutive trips. So uh, we have 15 stations. 15 station uh, 15 15 stops and uh, the train stops at on um, each station three times but it can't stop at, at on them on consecutive trips like if it can stop on the three consecutive 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 is it consecutive damn it Consecutive. Consecutive. So it can stop on three of them. For example, one, two, three. It can, it can stop on, on, on them. It must be one, two, and four. For example. Okay. Which one of the following could be the first, the list of stations at which the train stops on the first two trips? Uh, first trip, second trip. P Q S P Q R. So let's suppose that um, so in two consecutive trips, it's like two, right? The first two trips, and they are consecutive trips, and uh, we have to have uh, all five all five here and one must be repeated two times well now it seems easy right so okay let's see pqs and p like pq and pq so can can can't be done since uh, it doesn't stop on all of them okay pqt qrt so qt can do can do that uh, QRS, uh, PQS, again, Q, QSS can't be done. Uh, first trip, uh, QST, second trip, PRS. Okay, this is, this is the right answer since there's only S, right? And uh, this TTRR, so got it finally. <laughs> so this is, this is right. Let's do the following question. <laughs> Oh, well, it's easy when you read an explanation, of course. Without explanation, I guess I wouldn't, I wouldn't grasp it uh, for you no. Know, well, if I see it for, for for half an hour, I'll probably get it. But it takes eight minutes, so I have to be able to solve it in eight minutes. But anyway, if on the first and the third trips the train is to stop at Q, R, and S, and R, S, and T, respectively, which one of the following is the list of stations at which it must stop on the second trip okay 
on the first and on the third trips. Let's draw a diagram. So the first trip, it stops uh, QRS. QRS. The third trip, RST. RST. So now, what do we have? So we know that at the second trip, there must be at least a T. Yeah, there must be T. There must be a S. There must be P and something else. So T, P are necessary at the second trip uh, if uh, at the first we have uh, Q, R, and S. So TP, now we have to figure out the last, like TP plus something. TPS, TPQ. So the question is whether it's uh, like, this doesn't work. No, 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 like doesn't work. Uh, doesn't work, doesn't work. So we have uh, PQT and uh, PST. So how we solve it, we take the third, and we have, uh, again, we have to have uh, T, T, P, like it's Q, obviously, since uh, otherwise, if it's, uh, if it's S, so it will be two, it will be three S's at, uh, at uh, three trips. Okay, this is the right answer. Great. So easy when it's like when you figure out it's so easy to solve all these analytical as soon as you understand uh, how to drive a diagram then there's no difficulty in solving this but before you can drive a diagram it just seems impossible anyway the train cannot stop at both p and q at both p and q on both the first and third trips okay the train cannot stop at both P and Q on both the first and third, first and fourth, second and fourth, second and fifth, fourth and fifth. Okay, this seems to be very hard. The train cannot stop at both P and Q on both the Well, stop, it may be very easy. <laughs> the train cannot stop at both P and Q and both the, it can stop on first and first and fourth, second and fourth, second and fifth, fourth. Yeah, fourth and fifth. It can stop at fourth and fifth, right? <laughs> and both. Okay, here it can, okay, it's like the, the easiest question actually was not the hardest one. If the train is to stop at Q, R, and T on the first trip and Q, R, and S on the fourth trip, then it could be true that the train, okay, let's just draw a diagram again. So the first uh, Q, R, and T, Q, R, and T, the first trip. First trip and QR and S on the fourth. Q, QR and S, QR and S at the fourth trip. So it, then it could be true that the train stops at Q on the second trip. Okay, let's just make it, let's just try to figure that out. Okay, it stops at Q the second trip, then uh, what else is gonna be at the second trip? At second trip, there is gonna be a, a P and um, S. So it's gonna be P and S. And uh, if it's uh, Q, P, S at the second trip, then it must be, uh, necessarily r t at the third trip 
and something else. And what something else? Like let's figure out using the fourth trip. So it's Q R R S. It's R R together. So it's my R is already here, and we have only P. So we have to put P here. But if we put P here. Is it going to work if we are if we put P here? P P. Yeah, it works. So there's uh, two trips P R. Yeah, it seems it seems to be working. I'm not sure, but it seems it must work. So it could be possible if we have Q here, it will be Q. Again, it's going to be a QRT here. Here we have QPS. The third we have RT, RT. The fourth QRS. So we may put P here in this position and uh, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't break other rules okay i i'm not sure exactly but uh, i'm like pretty sure let's say yeah this is correct answer great so the last question is suppose that the train scheduler mistakenly scheduled the train to make the following stops and the first three trips Q, R, and S on the first trip, P, Q, S on the second trip, and R, S, and T on the third trip. Which one of the following is a substitution that results in a schedule for those three trips, three trips under which the train violates no condition? Okay. Let's like again a diagram. So the first trip, the first okay, Q R S and the first let's just write it down. So Q R S P Q S P Q S. So the mistake is that it's like Q and S it violates the rule, like two times on Q, two times on S, no T. On the second trip and RST on the third trip. RST. The third trip. Okay. And it also it doesn't violate just the first violates. And uh, it also violates the rule. There's three three S in the row which is also violates the rule but uh, okay which one of the following is a substitution that results in a schedule for those three trips under which the train violates no condition oh, okay we have to substitute something okay let's see so it must be s right so we have to s or q no, there's S. It has to do with S. So we have to remove S from the second uh, line. S. Yeah, T for S on the second line. Perfect. 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 Yeah, confident. So this is the work. Uh, with uh, the help of uh, the, with the help it took 33 minutes to solve the task uh, it requires eight minutes but you know you may go and try it uh, yourself if especially if you're a non-native speaker and see how well you're going to do the point again the point is usually for me it takes uh, like twice as much to solve these tasks but yeah i'm not I'm not trying to solve them as fast as possible. First, I tried to uh, to fit in time, but uh, later I realized that it's actually unnecessary. So the point is to be correct, 
and try to make no mistakes. And uh, if there is a help, of course, I, I'd better do it. To be uh, if I can do it on my own instead of guessing and then you know solving, and, and then just uh, trying to figure out what 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 I did uh, wrong. Instead of that, I, I'd better to read some explanations if I can't uh, figure out it on my own. But now, yeah, see, the point is that I didn't solve similar tasks before they like in analytic reasoning there were other tasks which i learned to solve uh, by writing diagrams but this type of you know question this is the first time and that's probably why it took me so much you know i'm not justifying it i'm not saying that oh it's like i am so stupid but <laughs> you know whatever it's it's not because my stupidity but it's because uh it's just a novel task of course i want to be able to deal with uh, new tasks as effectively as with uh, old and that's that's actually the point to learn to understand new tasks without uh, help but you anyway, it's like it's very fascinating exercise i definitely recommend to sign up to the khan academy to everybody who wants to improve their you know reading comprehension just uh, logical uh, skills analytical analytic reasoning uh, and etc anyway so that's yeah that 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 was my study stream thank you for watching if you like it subscribe to my channel write questions etc see you next time